Hello cybersecurity professionals, hope you're all having a lovely day. Today's topic is going to be SIEM, that is Security Information and Event Management. In today's day and age, it's imperative to have some kind of logging and monitoring solution that combines all the system generated logs to help us focus on only on the interesting security events. And this is where the SIEM technology bridges the gap. There are many players in the market and some of them are market leaders. I'll try to explain what SIM is and how it works at the very core, irrespective of a vendor. To begin with what a SIM, it's an abbreviation for SIEM, that is Security Information and Event Management. Now a typical corporate environment will have a lot of end devices like laptops, desktops, routers, database devices, firewall, uh, dedicated appliances, IoT, Internet of Things devices, cloud vendors, and even cell phones which all connect to your corporate network. Both system and security logs are generated by these devices and can be pulled and logged onto a centralized log server or a system log syslog server that is usually geographically distributed for major organizations. Next, its job is to forward the events to a virtual or dedicated SIEM appliance server, which many vendors refer as a receiver, data processor, or connectors. It usually is very CPU hungry as it needs to process large amounts of data logs. This is also where four very interesting and important processes happen. First, it aggregates. It's the process of moving data of similar log files into a single event or platform. Parsing. It parses the data and it's the process to extract data elements from raw log data and presents them into a human readable format. Normalization. This categorizes the data further and the records to a common event attribute for easy identification and can be used when correlating dissimilar events. Example, uh, it normalized into a login event, logout event, audit, and a security event. Filtering. Although this option at this juncture is optional and also can be done at a previous syslog server collector level, and is the process of filtering out or pipelining of only the logs that are of interest. Now every SIEM solution uh, modifies its architecture when developed. But at this point, most SIEM solutions would have some sort of data bus which collects logs and pushes it to the ESM or Enterprise Security Manager. And also to the raw log manager that is ELM. Usually an ESM is never a standalone server and it's installed either in a distributed or in high availability setup. Uh, this setup also depends on the business needs and cost of running the environment. The enterprise security manager or the big box is where you would spend most of your time looking at correlated events as it manages your dashboards, reports, run searches and investigate on enriched logs. Next, it's the big brain and it's often called as correlation engine or core engine. This is where all the enriched logs are correlated according to the defined use case parameters and logic rules. For example, you can define a correlation rule to look for X and Y that occurs in a specific order of occurrence or a geographical location to look for patterns. It usually is very memory hungry since it has a lot of use cases that has been correlated and reported to ESM in real time. And of course, you need to log the data to a hard disk drive to meet the log requirements. This usually is racked on a slow moving hard drive or even on an SSD. Nowadays, in a RAID or redundant setup, after the data retention period expires, it either automatically or is being manually archived. 
but be very careful when handling GDPR data as it penalizes parties who store PII or personally identifiable information data which are strictly governed. Overall, this is the basic architecture for any scheme and will at least have these components irrespective of the scheme vendor. Although a modern scheme, the next generation schemes have gone beyond just performing correlation and alerting, but the basic functionality for any seam still remains the same. To name a few, it does data enrichment for your logs, forensic analysis to collect evidence, threat hunting for threat investigators. It can consume threat log feeds from open sources, it does SOAR, that is security orchestration and automated response to automate action based on rules. Incident response as built-in triage function and maintain compliance data like PCI DSS, HIPAA, etc. That was just a brief overview of how Seam works and its architecture at the very basic level. If you'd like me to cover any of the seam related topics in depth, then please let me know and feel free to address it in the comment section below. I hope this video made you a bit more wiser and please share it with your family and friends. Bye now.